What's up everybody, it's Brantman19 playing some more World in Conflict Soviet Assault. The last time we were playing as NATO units up in Murmansk, taking out the subs there, and this time I think we're going to switch sides in this conflict and go check out and see what the Soviets are up to, so uh, let's get right to it. Valerie, there have been no letters from you for two weeks now. Have they been lost by the Postal Service, or you are perhaps dead? Hmm. Well, that would at least be a good excuse. No, Sasha, I'm not dead. Much to your father's chagrin, I imagine. We have been constantly on the move, and to find even a few minutes of peace has been well nigh impossible. Father has been asking about you. I think he is genuinely concerned. Though I know you don't believe me. I sometimes doubt you believe anything I say. Your father would like Vladimir's nephew Nikolai. The man's idealism and zeal rivals that of the most fervent religious believer. Poor boy. One day he will realize the shame of it all. How is old Vladimir? You know I hold him in high regard. But please, ask him to speed things up and win this damn war. I am sick and tired of constant shortages. Of course. If I just ask Volodya, he will win the war for us in an instant. Not a problem, I think. And listen to Vladimir. He has at least a semblance of morals compared to you, my dear. And don't die on me. Who would I then quarrel with? Your Alexandra. They seem like they have a fun relationship. Yesterday, the Southern Factory Collective reported production levels far exceeding the quota set for the period. The General Secretary conveyed his heartfelt pride to be the leader of such an industrious people. Yesterday also brought news of a minor skirmish involving NATO infiltrators. They were swiftly hunted down by our... We were still in Norway when we heard the news. Several NATO battalions had been airdropped inside our country. And I think many of us were shaken to the core that day. Our image of the invulnerable motherland cracked in a way that could not be easily mended. Captain Malyshenko loudly proclaimed that he would smear the ground red with the blood of the NATO bastards who had dared to enter our homeland. The Colonel tried to calm us saying that there would be blood shed soon enough. But we didn't settle down until we had boarded the planes back home, our fiery rage doused with cold determination and vengeance foremost on our mind. So I noticed just then that in the uh, Pravka newspaper thing, they're showing that they had, uh, NATO was in fin uh, Finland, but when actually it was in... Uh, if Russia they were itself. here half an hour ago, we don't have long before they arrive. Understand? Romanov must move immediately Товарищ to... Полковник. What? A message. Now? Very well. What is it, uncle? Julia, it's your wife. Russia? She... Что? They're dead, Kolya. She and your daughter. Killed yesterday when the Americans raided Serbryansk. I'm so sorry. Sorry. You're at war. They died for the state. They died for socialism. I'm proud. You have my deepest sympathy. I don't want sympathy. I want leaders with the courage to prevent NATO from walking into our soil. Kolya, we're dealing with a strong adversary. Then we must be stronger! Comrade Colonel, our forward scouts report involved NATO helicopters. Where the hell is Romanov at the Shilkas? Kolya, can I count on you? Let them come, Uncle. Let them come. You, you kind of have to feel for him there. Just lost both his wife and newborn daughter. Tough. Good. Finally here. What kept you, Roman? Malashenko here. What is happening up north? Last word was that NATO intruders were moving against our naval base near Polyarny. The attack on this camp seems to be in support of that move. Dobludki. We will root them out wherever they attack. Malashenko out. 
Lieutenant Romano, I want you to command the artillery section. We have spotted several enemy scout teams hiding in the forest, and our helicopters are looking for them now. Alright, looks like we get to use artillery this time around. The helicopters will mark the enemy positions. Fire on all enemy units they find. So call one out. Okay. Enemy scout spotted. Hit him there. Heavy fire support here. I'm just gonna go from left to right down here as far as selection. Just be easier to keep up with them. Okay, where's the next one at? Yeah, Troika. We have movement in the tree line. That was a good hit, Lieutenant, but there are more enemy scouts out there. Right there. NATO scouts have been located. We can deploy and lay down the heavy barrage. And right there. Говорит Малашенко, I have incoming mortars. There must be NATO spotters with those scouts. There's two. And three. Well done. We've destroyed their eyes and ears. When the assault begins, they will target your artillery, Romano. Make sure you keep it well protected. So call one out. I don't have anything to protect us with except for the NATO AA. Is imminent. Captain Malashenko will hold the outer perimeter, but you must support him with artillery fire, Romano. We cannot lose here today. I guess I'm going to be protecting them and myself with artillery only. <laughs> okay. Fire signal flares to signal an impending attack, Lieutenant. Several flares indicate a heavy attack. Malashenko out. So I'm sent to the west of the quarry. They're to the north on the east end, and they're to the south on the east end. So, and looks like here they come. This is Malashenko. NATO units are attacking from the north. I need fire support at once. You know what to do, Romanov. Give Captain Malashenko all the support he needs. Yes, sir. All right. Romano, between your artillery guns and my tanks, we will kill those Netra infiltrators to the last man. Good. If we pin them down here, we might aid our comrades at Poyar. It's not too late already. Okay, we'll just shoot all along here. Malashenko here. I will hold you personally accountable for any friendly fire, Ramana. Make sure you fire on the enemy, not us. The lieutenant knows what he's doing, Captain. I hope so. Malashenko out. How about this? How about you keep your men out of the fire zone and just keep them in their own little circles here and we'll be just fine? It's pretty simple. Don't want to die, don't go where I'm shooting. <laughs> Uh oh, they've already taken a spot here. Okay, shots coming in there. All right, let's oh, let's refigure all this out there. Want you firing there. They're attacking again. Keep those shells coming, Lieutenant. You firing there, there. And we'll have one firing there. NATO will also use counter artillery to destroy you. Stay on the move to avoid those barrages. Okay. Looking good. I think we've got a strong setup. Incoming fire, Romano. Change your position. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Get out of there. I have ordered the prisoners to be taken to the bomb shelters. We will keep them there until the battle is over. Malashenko here. Why don't we just execute the prisoners and be done with it? Because we are better than the enemy. And we will prove it by keeping the prisoners alive. Okay then. That doesn't seem very Soviet of them. Normally the Soviets would kill prisoners. But throw them in the gulags and such like that. 
Not as bad as the Japanese, of course, but still pretty bad. NATO has breached the outer perimeter. Push them back, Malashenko. Romanov will aid you with artillery fire. Yeah, so call one. The perimeter has been breached. Don't let them get a foothold. Come on, Malashenko. That, that requires you to push in here, buddy. I can't do that. Okay, there. Move a shot out here. Move another shot there. Move shots here. And then you can put your shots right there. Okay, I think we've got enough. Retaking the spots. They'll get there shortly. Okay. Looking good. I think we're fine now. Just a few units sitting out there as it stands. I need you guys to shoot and take these things out. Ooh, that was too close. Uh, <laughs> it shook the camera a little bit. Okay. Hit him. Alright, well hit him again. <laughs> One more time. There you go. We've got you a nice little shield here. Should they attack again? Okay, let's put that there. And let's try this one right there. And let's try this one right there. Okay, they're running now. They're giving up for now. Don't let them get away, Romanov. Okay. Stop all your shots. They will attack again. You must hold for as long as possible. Let's get ready for the other side, I guess. The more they send, the more we will kill. Okay, what's next? Coming in from the south? Yep. units attacking from the south. I need fire support, Romanov. All right, let's get ready for the side. Yeah, so call one. I just got a report saying that our comrades won a crushing victory near Polyani this morning. The NATO intruders were destroyed to the last man, and the naval base was sealed. The NATO will finish the job here and teach NATO once and for all not to violate our motherland. I wouldn't trust those reports to be completely accurate, Captain. It doesn't matter. Every NATO soldier here will die today. Malashenko out. Obviously, the colonel doesn't trust that intelligence himself, which we know it's false. Because that's what we just did in the last mission. Okay, let's move that shot back just a little bit. Move these shots in. You have incoming rounds, Romano. Reposition your people at once. All right, move, 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 move. Where do you want Samantha here? Moving to set up Shilka over there. Enemy destroyed. I think we're far enough out the way. They'll only send like five or six shots. Where I was. Right there? Okay, fine. Okay, resetting yourselves back up over here. Awesome. Now let's get back to helping him. Luckily, he didn't... NATO didn't really do anything. Let's get shots getting going again. Let's see, where are we going to end up missing them at? Okay. They just threw up two... Mind what you are saying, Captain. This is an open channel. I don't care, Blin. How can we fight the war when we can't even trust our own people? Enough. 
You know, he has a point though. If you have, don't have proper intelligence, it's pretty hard to win things. They are sending helicopters to take out your artillery, Romano. Use your shield cast to fight them off. Up here they come. They look like uh, Lynx, which uh, most European countries use in their navies pretty heavily. Which, they're down anyway. <laughs> they stood no chance against AA. Okay, get ready to stop your shooting. They haven't given up yet. Expect renewed attacks any minute now. Yeah, they're pretty still. They're still heavily on this side. We have NATO troops approaching from the north, and my men to the south have spotted more enemy troops on the move. Heavy fire support. They will attack from both directions at once. Hold for as long as possible, and then move to alternate defense positions when I give the word. Okay. We'll put three on the northern side, and then well, it looks like they don't have anything on the south yet, so. We'll just put two on the south, though, when that time comes. Okay, you guys need to stop. There you go. You have incoming artillery again, Romano. Move your units out of the impact area. Okay, we're going. Anti-air reporting in. Drive to the coordinates. Work those guns, Romano. We have enemies all over the perimeter. They're coming at us from both the north and the south. I'm doing everything I can. I gotta stay alive, too, now. Does it's no good if I'm dead. Okay, let's go again. One, two, and three right there. Four and five going on the other side. Which looks to only be moderately uh, under attack, but hey. We'll still hold. Still do our job. Okay. Third shot is going to need to be changed right there. I think we have enough units to hold the cell. At least for a little while. Actually, let's change the first shot to right there. Position your shilkas so that your artillery is protected. Okay, let's take care of this side a little bit better. Keep shooting. We've got a hold. Shoot there now. These two, I want you to start shooting there. And I want you guys to start shooting. Here. Where's this one coming from? Up oh, there they are. One, two down. Third one's going down now. Okay, four and five over here. I just came right up on it and was like, that's got to be the perfect spot. Get out of there. We need to stop shooting. Well, that did damage. <laughs> Luckily, nobody got caught up. We are moving to the alternate defensive positions now. So call one here. Move your units to the quarry entrances. We'll defend from there. Understood. I am repositioning my units. Malashenko out. Okay, let's start helping them out still. Shoot there. And there. Uh, there. And... There, that looks like too natural of a lane to come through. And... Right... Let's see, right there. Perfect. And I saw some... Helicopters coming in. Right there. There. Okay, I don't see any more, except for in this area. Okay, get ready. I want him gone. 
Stay in, stay in, stay in. Okay. Both of them down. This one that was over here looks like he's gone. Uh, don't see any more. Okay. We'll hold out for a little longer and see what happens. Okay. If they'd bring their men up, I could start repairing them with him. Okay, I don't see anything now that I can really do anything about. Except for just keep shooting like I have been. Okay. Uh, there's something in the middle there. Come on, give me a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Put them both in here. Maybe we'll catch them. Oh, if we could catch all four of them. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. So call one here. I have some good news. Our frontal aviation comrades have finally deigned to send us some helicopter support. Romanov, I want you to command these helicopters while I direct the artillery fire. Move your units to the rendezvous point. Okay, I need all you guys to come back. You help him. You did a commendable job leading that artillery battery, Lieutenant. Now, show me the same sound tactical sense when commanding the helicopters. Alright. Now we can take the attack to the enemy on the move. Come on down. Yep, there's one of our secondary objectives completed. Okay, come on and take these guys out. Okay, let's fall back. Let's get ready for them to come down here. And help out these guys so they can get ready to turn and help them. Okay, he can hurt us. Okay, let's turn here. Use any means necessary to keep them at bay, Romano. And shoot at him now. Alright, give these guys a hand. Keep shooting. Lots to destroy. Okay, come on, charge up. There they go. Nice. Few more tanks on this side and they're done. They've come back in behind us. Um I think we'll be okay just helping this side right now. This side looks like they've they're doing okay. I don't see any heavy tanks. And we're trying to get this side rebuilt back up again. So it's a it's okay to do what we're doing. Holy crap. Okay. I'm also giving you fire support priority to help defend the camp. Alright. Let's go ahead and take out this artillery. They are coming. Use all available fire support assets to destroy them, Lieutenant. Romanov, seek out and destroy the NATO artillery before they cause too much damage. Okay, go for it. Go. Initiating a heavy attack, not a look. Firing a spy. 
There we go. Take him out. Well done, Lieutenant. Continue to search and destroy. But watch out for enemy anti-air defense. Up oh, here they are again. There you go, let's move out. Okay, oh. start shooting these guys. Okay, let's pull back over here now. I think I saw the last pair of shots coming from over here. Okay, not there. There they are. And let's take out the last two. I'll keep shooting. There you go. Well done indeed. That should give us some respite. So call one out. All right. Let's get up here and help our men. Oh no, we might lose our repair. Let's drop another. Alright guys. Okay. Right there. Hold your spots. There's another one, so he'll help us out. Come on, guys. Shoot the guys actually on the spots. Okay. Let's hit here. Let's do it again there. Let's do it a little bit off from there. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. We have been declared combat ineffective, Captain. 5th Battalion will pursue. I want the casualty count as soon as possible. The camp is safe. For now. Man, that was that's a tough battle right there. Whew! It's finally, it's over. That was much tougher than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, so... We just uh, defended... I guess it's a gulag. Uh, that's what I'd call it, a gulag. And uh, taking the NATO assault force out from there uh, of course object got all of our primary objectives also got our secondary objectives which was to keep our units intact at least the artillery and um, destroying that enemy artillery which isn't as easy as it looks so uh, anyways that gave us our excellent artillery man badge and our order of the red star I appreciate you guys for watching uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button that helps me out so much when you do that and alright guys I appreciate it and I will see you guys next time